Excellent. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Rexer Show. Uh, today, we're going to go over Mr. on the DE10 Nano. I finally got my DE10 Nano and uh, excited about it. I'm going to do a, a quick arcade uh, demonstration. And I'm also going to show you how to set it up. We're going to go over the board. We're going to talk about it from a beginner standpoint. Let's just jump right in. The first thing you're going to do is go to the uh, GitHub for Mr. And you'll see it right here. I'll link it in the description below. You're going to find a whole bunch of information about what is it, about uh, add-ons and inputs and, and you know cores. After you fell asleep reading all that stuff, you're going to want to go to this Discord server here. I'm going to link it in the description right here. You're going to go to join server. This is where you can ask all your questions. It's basically the one best uh, server for Mr. And uh, when you join it, it's going to look like this. You'll have your classic gaming icon right there and all your Mr. FPGA rooms right here. Go to Mr. Help, ask a question. And also there is a smoke monster uh, group for Mr. FPGA or Discord channel. So Google Smoke Monster Discord. I believe it's a Patreon or patron only Discord server. So Google that if you want to join that. Now, if you're going to get started on this project, you're going to need a minimum of two things. First one is this FPGA device, a DE10 Nano board. You have to have the DE10 Nano. The next thing is the OTG uh, hub. You're going to need this to connect some devices. Now you're saying, well, what about all these add-ons that, uh, that I hear about? The I.O. board, uh, the SD RAM. You can add those, but you don't necessarily need to in order to get started. The two other main components that people say to add on uh, are the SD RAM module. So we'll start there. And again, you can just go down and click the SD RAM module in the add-on section and you can uh, get some uh, information on it right here but mainly what we want to know is well why do I need it and the main reason obviously is for core support there's only certain cores that will work with uh, the that will run if you have the SD RAM board so right here is a list of them you can see which ones you're gonna uh, which ones will require this uh, board in order to run I'm gonna be focusing on arcade today because watch my channel I'm an arcade guy I want to do arcade and technically I don't need it. Now, I did get it and you can see that, you know, I did buy the uh, SD RAM uh, board because one of these days I'm gonna wanna play some of this stuff. So I just wanted to have it just in case. You can get them for around 20 bucks. But what I wanna show you about installing this is normally there might be a, something that says this side out and then you push it down into this bracket. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that these three pins are going into the other ports that line up with it. Uh, I'm gonna put a video of somebody um, doing this. You can see exactly how these go in. Now, the other add-on that most people get is the I.O. board. So you scroll down to here, you see this I.O. board right here. Again, you don't need it if you, if, uh, you don't wanna use any of the options that this I.O. board supports. So right here, you can see what it's adding. It's adding a VGA connector. Now you might be saying, well, I need a VGA for, for video. No, you don't because the DE10 Nano board has HDMI. So you can run HDMI out for your video. Uh, it's got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack with a TOS link. Now I have this on order. I'm probably going to use it because I like to use the 3.5 uh, millimeter uh, jack because uh, it's easy to hook it right up into a uh, amplifier for my arcade. So I like that. Now here's another reason you might want is for these three buttons. Okay. Right here, it says three buttons. What do those three buttons do? Those three buttons basically control some of the user interface. So you don't need a keyboard to be plugged in at all times to get from menu to menu. The three buttons will, will let you navigate um, without having a keyboard uh, hooked up at all times. It has three status LEDs, a secondary SD card, a fan for cooling the FPGA, um, an expansion connector, now it says again, in the form of a USB 3.0 connector, but it's not USB. We're gonna talk about that in a second when we look at the main board. Additional connectors uh, to integrate a mister in two cases. So that's what you get with that. If you don't want any of this stuff, you don't need it. This is what it looks like. We talked about the VGA here. This is that non-USB uh, USB port right here. Here's the three buttons down here that help you navigate to menus. Um, SD card added right here. Now, and again, I'm just gonna say you don't need that to get started if you don't uh, want it. 
Now we talked about the board itself, the DE10 Nano. Just Google buy a DE10 Nano and it'll show you where to buy them. I got mine off of Amazon. Uh, you can also go to, I believe, the Thoracic uh, uh, site directly and um, you can get a discount if you're a student. So it's around 110 with the student, 130 without the discount. And again, everything is on this page right here. It'll tell you how to buy right here. Uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. We're just basically touching the tip of the iceberg here with what I'm going to show you, but I just want to get you started. Now, here's a list of FPGA cores right here. You can see them all. They keep adding things. They recently added Neo Geo. Uh, I heard the CPS1 core is coming out soon. That will be fantastic. Uh, and, and you're probably asking, well, Rex, what again, why, why this DE10 Nano? Why, why FPGA? There's lots of videos that explain FPGA, but what you need to know from a beginning standpoint is that FPGA will allow the hardware emulation instead of software emulation. And if you're a really hardcore gamer of classic consoles or arcade, FPGA will get you closer to the actual arcade experience or gaming experience. Now let's talk about the DE10 Nano itself. I'm not going to go into all the specifics. You can find them on any website, but I do want to point out a couple things. Gigabyte Ethernet right here. Okay, You have a uh, OTG, a USB OTG hub right here. This is technically your only USB uh, port right here. You see there's two uh, mini ports right here, mini B ports. These technically are not uh, USB. They are serial ports technically. Now I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link in the description about the difference between serial uh, ports and USB ports. But the basic thing you need to know is that you can't just plug in devices into these ports and expect them to work because they're not universal. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle is the OTG connector. Get this OTG connector right here. I tried a couple, one of the ones I used with the mini, it didn't work. I tried another one, it was it was sketchy. Uh, but the the port, the, the micro port is very finicky. So you have to be careful and you have to plug it in. Sometimes I have to unplug it and plug it back in and to get it to register the mouse and keyboard. So once you have this OTG and you have the D10 Nano, don't forget an SD card that you're going to need uh, for the uh, Mr. program. Okay, let's add Mr. to our SD card. First, we're going to go to freely downloadable on the main page here. And we're going to get the software by clicking latest SD card installer right here. And this is going to be the first of three files we're going to use and need. And we're going to scroll down to this .rar file right here, release.rar, and we're going to see that it's from last month right here. So this is the most recent one. We're going to click on that and download it. Download right here, and you're going to see it downloading in the corner over here. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to click back a couple times and get back to the setup screen right here. We're going to scroll all the way down here, and we're going to get the update file right here where it says update Mr. Files. Now, you can read all these instructions if you would like. But I'm just going to go to click uh, this Mr. Update link right here. We're going to click on that. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Scroll all the way down to the most recent update file. Update file. There's one from four days ago. We're going to click there. Download. That's the second of three files we need. We're going to go back again to the setup page. And we're going to scroll down. And we're going to find the menu. And that menu file is right here. It says repeat this for the menu core file. We're going to click on that, scroll down again. We're going to get the most recent one right here, menu right there. Uh, we're going to download again, and this is a RBF file. And now once those are downloaded, I'm going to put them all in the same folder right now. I'm going to put them all in a desktop folder right here. I got my three files right there. The first thing I'm going to do is extract This .rar file right there and when you see that extracted into a folder you're going to see this Mr. SD card utility. Now we'll come back to these two files right here once we run this uh, exe utility to get Mr. on the SD card. So let's do that now. Okay so now we're going to go into our release folder. We're going to open up the Mr. utility here. So we're going to make sure that our SD card is selected right here. We're going to wipe right here not wipe your hard drive or anything else. Now we're going to do full install. Yes. And these windows are going to pop up here that say format, uh, yada, yada. Just close them out. Cancel through them. Give it some time to process. Okay, now we have a successful install. 
I'm going to close out of this. We're going to go down to our SD card and take a look at that. Hey, in our SD card now, we have the Mr. and the menu files. These are the two that we're going to replace with those first two or, or two of the three files that we downloaded first. So we're going to go back to my desktop folder. Grab both these files right here. Copy them and paste them into my Mr. SD card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the original menu. Delete the original Mr. I have to rename these to the exact same name. So I'm going to rename. I'm just going to take out the date here and the underscore. Click enter. If you type over, don't forget it's capital M, small i, capital S, capital T, E, R. And this one you're going to leave as a dot RBF. But we're just going to take out the date again. And now we have our updated menu and updated Mr. File. Now we're ready to go to the DE10 Nano, pop in this SD card, and let's boot up Mr. Okay, so here we go. We're going to plug in our Ethernet cord. There, now just note there is no Wi Fi built in, no Bluetooth built in, but you can use adapters on your OTG uh, to get that working. Now, after we have those plugged in, you're just going to plug in the power, and this is how it will boot up. Uh, your keyboard should be working. Now, with that OTG that I uh, showed you to buy, there is a red dot on top of it. Don't see the red dot, then it's not getting power. But what we're going to do when we have this menu is hit F12. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to get all the cores and the updates. So we're going to go to scripts and uh, we're going to, then we're going to select yes here. Then we're going to click update. And here it goes. Let it uh, let it load all these cores and updates, and uh, we'll see when it's done. Okay, so this runs for a while. I'm just going to skip right through it to the end. And here we go. You can see our arcade directory was created, uh, computer and console, and then obviously other and utility. Okay, so we're back at our computer, and if you go into your Mr. Card and your SD card and your arcade folder. You're going to notice that uh, something's a little different if you're familiar with the way they used to do it with having to download some bat files and, and an exe and then creating a new rom now the process is they've already loaded the mra file for you from the script update as well as a rbf file right here in the cores so you as long as you do the update you do not need to grab these files off of the core uh, arcade core hub here. So here you see all these arcade cores and for Pac-Man we'd go down and we'd click on this and then normally you would grab the files in the releases, the RBF, the uh, MRA. You don't have to do that if you uh, did the update and they, it loaded all those files for you. Now if a new core came out and you wanted to add uh, that uh, core you would have to add them manually so all we have to do is add our ROMs into the main folder right here so you can see um, right now I added pacman.zip and I also had to add puckman because I was missing a file uh, and it, it, it needed to merge these two together in order to run co correctly so I have pacman and puckman.zip now what I'm told from the uh, Discord server and the Mr. Group is that the best ROMs to use are the most recent MAME uh, ROM set updates, which right now would be uh, basically 0 0.218, 0 0.219, um, to use those ROM sets. Now that we've put these uh, ROMs into our MAME folder in uh, Arcade on our SD card, we can boot up Mr. and play these ROMs. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to uh, hit F12 and map our joysticks. We're going to have 12. We're going to go down to define joysticks and buttons. And then we're going to do what it says, right down. We skip this with the space bar.
And now once we're done with that, we just hit F12, go down where we enter into Arcade. We're gonna push the right button to go by letter. We're gonna come down to, and you can use your joystick now. We're gonna come down to Pac-Man and we'll just hit the A button. Okay, so the game is loading. I'm gonna hit the select key here. It tells me what uh, buttons do what. I'm gonna hit the R for coin. If you can't hear it, it's because I can't get the volume through my uh, capture card. Oh, it sounds great, looks great, feels great, plays great. I mean, this is incredible. This joystick's a little touchy, and I'm hoping soon to get some uh, get some encoders working and figure all that out. So stay tuned to the Rexer Show for more information. Ah, look at that. But uh, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell and you'll get more on Mr. As uh, I figure out more and test it some more. So uh, thanks for watching. As always.